Well, tonight, Boston police will be spending time in the city's neighborhoods as part of the National Night Out. The ultimate goal is to build relationships and stop gun violence. And some neighborhoods have seen far too much of that. At this time yesterday, police were investigating a deadly shooting in broad daylight. A man was killed on Norwell Street in Dorchester, and police are still looking for the shooter. WBZ's Courtney Cole is live in the South End tonight. Courtney, they're hoping tonight's event is one way to show that there are ways to reduce violence. Absolutely. And Lisa, the main thing here is that, you know, having those good relationships, having that rapport with neighbors before something bad happens is key to solving those crimes. And as you can see here behind me in Peters Park, neighbors, they're invested in solutions too. The biggest fear is that the, the guns and the shootings will, will take crime in Boston out of control. Streets filled with crime scene tape and flashing lights, a sight all too common for some in Boston, including Suffolk County District Attorney Kevin Hayden. Probably been to over 100 of these types of scenes over the course of my career. And they, uh, they never get any easier. In fact, he says they hit home pretty hard. Uh, everywhere you go, people will tell you that it's apparently obvious there's too many guns on the street. But he has his sights set on the solution and not just the problem. He actually started a, uh, what's a program called Boston First. Uh, Boston First is a new initiative, first of its ever kind done here in the New England area, where we're working with the ATF, um, with all of our local law enforcement, uh, to focus on the best evidence uh, around gun forensics and gun practices. Hayden says they track guns from the moment they hit the streets to the moment they're recovered to address trafficking and unsolved shootings. Those are two key areas where you can, I think, really make an impact. If you do a better job with unsolved shootings, you're going to help drive down the cycle of violence. This point is especially relevant on National Night Out. You're a big proponent of getting the community involved in the solution. I believe that our response has to be from our entire community. Uh, uh, from our, our, our schools to our backyard barbecues, all the way to our boardrooms, all the way to City Hall. Uh, we need an entire communal response to really deal with the situation. Hayden says the response from the community was positive yesterday during National Night Out events. Yeah. Hoping for the same today or even better. Yeah, I'm hoping for the same today or even better. I, uh, I, I got to the first event and I was amazed at how many people were there. Um, and that continued throughout the whole night. Our last stop was in Mattapan and there were as many people in Mattapan uh, as, as there were at the first stop.